Some words. I'm gonna talk about a very strange hoax. Maybe it's an April Fool's joke. I don't know. Going around the internet. How to build a cloaking device for the Earth. The way this works is the Earth goes around the sun and it blacks out a tiny portion of the sun's light. Then an alien looking at us from a long ways away. I conclude there's a plant there, and what they're saying is they want to use lasers to make it so Earth looks just as bright as the sun, and that would deter them from being able to detect us by seeing the Earth in front of the sun. Sounds good so far, right? A simple laser beam could disrupt a aliens' ob observations of Earth, making it look like there's nobody home on third rock from the sun, a new study suggests. Well, the problem with that is that the light from the lasers is usually red or green. It's not going to match the spectrum of the sun, so if they did use them for this purpose, what they would do, they would actually be broadcasting our uh, location to the purple people, either aliens or whatever. David Kipling, an astronomer at Columbia University in New York, said he first considered this idea when he heard about a strangely dimming star that was detected recently by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope. Researchers speculated the signal could come from an alien megastructure orbiting the star. That's a remote possibility. Star strange signal likely has a natural cause, but Kepler's observation got Kipling kipping thinking about ways humanity could alter signals that send them to space or hide them all together from life humming aliens who may have malicious intents. In other words, purple people eaters who want to come here and eat us. Okay. He and Columbia graduate student Alex Tichy conclude that it would be surprisingly easy to wipe out or signal to start to look like look strange or even not out the fingerprint of life provided researchers knew the location of snooping aliens. That's one problem right there. How are we going to do that? It gets worse. I am having problems with my mouth, so keep that in mind. Words might sound a little bit off. Uh, it gets worse from here. How are we going to know <laughs> where the snooping aliens are? Red flag right there. We essentially played the thought experiment that if we had xenophobic tendencies and wanted to avoid Earth being discovered, as Stephen Hawking and others have been warning about, we could wipe out the Earth from alien planet hunters. Could we, could we wipe out Earth from alien planet hunters, purple people eaters? The key to Kipling's and Tichy's thinking lies in the way humans have contact Identify most planets around all the stars, process called the transit method. Like I said, there's a major problem with this. Because transit method might work for if they're in the same orbital plane. No, there's somebody looking for us. Hostile aliens, purple people eaters looking for us, might see the Earth going across the sun if they're on the right orbital plane, but if they're not, then the Earth isn't going to black out enough of the sun to make any difference, so they're not going to see it anyway. The 
that's another problem with this. Engineers who shine very bright laser collection of lasers towards a star suspected of hosting alien intelligent aliens during the first during the time Earth was passing in front of the sun from other planets' perspective. Then, the aliens making measurements wouldn't see any change in solar brightness. Well, here's the problem with that. Uh, let's say you have purple people eaters 40 light years away, and you do this. How long is it going to take to cloak your planet? Alright. Uh, what I'm saying is, if they fire off lasers, how long before the cloak actually works for the p purple people eaters for you late years away? <laughs> well, it's going to take 40 years, right? Because the laser light would take 40 years to get there. I started to think about lasers, Kipling, Kipling said, told Space.com many... Most people might have stopped right there because the sun emits so much light. How can you possibly produce a laser beam that would ever compete with the sun? But it turns out, when you actually run through the equations, it's really not that bad. Well, yeah, it is, because like I said, lasers are usually red or green. We could build this uh, next week if we wanted to, TC added. To all the other signature as seen by an alien version of Kepler, laser system would have to emit 30 megawatts of power for about 10 hours per year, concluding, coinciding with the Earth passing in front of the sun duo calculated. Well, I've already been over that, and the time factor... Now here we have a little graphic. It shows the uh, narrow beam. Now what's wrong with this picture here? Can anybody out there tell me? Here's the issue. While the Earth is going around the sun, where our uh, planet is tilted on its axis. So... Uh, it's not going to go straight out like this. In other words, I'm making this a real bitch. I mean, we're going to have to have really exact calculations in order to be able to do this. Which means we would have to know the exact uh, location of where the planet is going to be and where it was and all that, but it wouldn't matter because this planet's uh, rotation on its axis because of the tilt would render all that useless. I don't know how you would do it. It's, I think this is a April Fool's joke or something. And that's what I'm thinking. It has to be. By varying the wavelength and strength of beams, humans could conceal Earth from more complicated detectors. Such a cloak that concealed all wavelengths would take about 250 megawatts of power of lasers blasting different wavelengths, researchers said. Laser strategy can also alter uh, Earth's signature look like almost anything, even something that appears distinctive and artificial, scientists said, like a New York skyline or featureless box. But perhaps the most interesting use the researchers said would be as a bio cloak, which would actually use less power than required to totally conceal a planet. When a planet crosses its star's face, a little bit of light passes through the plant's atmosphere, and researchers can determine the atmosphere, atmosphere's makeup based on the wavelengths of that light. They're sending laser beams that are inverse of certain wavelengths, 
Humanity could conceivably end out in life generated biosignatures in Earth's atmosphere, Kipping said. We can actually cancel features out, such as oxygen, he said. And that presumes that oxygen would be necessary for life on purple people eaters planet. Alien civilization is going to detect your planetary transit. They're going to detect your planetary radial velocity, but when they smell the atmosphere, it would not look as like a tasty planet. It would look like just a dead world. While a planet that was fully cloaked could still be detected by other means, such as gravitational pull it exerts on a star, this kind of cloak would arouse less suspicion as a planet would be there as expected without signs of life. This is utter BS. Alright. Uh, let's take a look at the study that they put out. Hang on. You know, I'm absolutely flummoxed. I don't know what's going on here. This is a weird, weird hoax. April Fool's joke? Maybe not. Look at this. This is for, from Oxford, for crying out loud. Transit methods currently present, presently the most successful planet discovery and characterization tool at our disposal. They're talking, here these two are. David Kipping and Alex Tichy talking about a laser cloak. Now maybe they could solve the problem with the lasers being red or green. They could probably solve that. But they can't solve the problem of the radio emissions, you know, going out over a hundred some odd, uh, years, they can't solve that, they can't solve the fact that the Earth is tilted on its axis, so as the Earth rotates, it would be, it would be unbelievably difficult, and we wouldn't even know if they would, the aliens would see it, unless we uh, had just zillions of lasers on this planet all shooting out at the same time for 10 hours a year. They said it would only take 10 hours a year to do this. And they can't solve the problem that the you know, white one reached purple people eaters planet for 40 years or whatever. So, I'm wondering what's going on here. This is a bizarre hoax. I don't understand why this is going on. How it took the internet from storm and no why nobody is uh, talking about it in terms of, you know, what's going on here. This is a bizarre, bizarre hoax. I'm not taking it back. There are just too many problems, too many technical issues here. Plus the fact that it would only, you know, from the radio signals to the time it would take to, for the cloaking to get there. And I'm thinking any intelligent aliens would know the difference between laser light and the sun. So I don't know what's going on here. I'm like a bulldog once I sink my teeth in. I just want to keep going until I get to the bottom of it. So that's what I'm going to try to do. There may be a follow up on this video. We'll have to wait and see. I know it ran really long. But this is utter BS, and I'm trying to figure out what's going on with it. It's bizarre, 
bizarre hoax. And we're Facts Mars. Thanks for watching.